He is the key to this offense. Alan Laviolette shooting it into a double team. Jake Fairfax in the end zone, denied from behind by Jeremy Hess. So an early huck, which has not been the Flyers. It's just not so often that you see a team that's so stingy with the disc that also can open it up in the deep space. And Garrett Brom with the disc. 98% completion rate. This shot going up for Zach Norbaum. Beautiful floater. Norbaum milks it. Reset for McDonald. And Malks doesn't even let the stall count get to one. These handlers are so tricky to guard. Gus Norbaum back to Rowan and into the end zone. What a clever little throw from Rowan. Goes with the outside in. Soft. Just over five minutes gone, a two goal lead for the home team. Onto the lights and Taylor shoots it deep for Fisher. Merriman the defender, but Fisher has the steps and the score. Well, that's the huck they wanted on their first possession. They have their big cutter downfield. This time it's Fisher, but the throw is out into the open space. Merriman never has a chance to get to this one. Taylor sees that he's got Fisher. Henry Fisher's going deep. LaViolette throws a deep reset and it's denied. LaViolette asking for a foul and David Shields is going to grant it. Wonderful integrity from David Shields of the game from a time standpoint by a long shot. Well, you know why? Look into the end zone. Bergeron has it. Reese Bergeron hauls in the score for the Breeze. Now it's all going deep right now. Coming back under. Bloodworth, oh what a acceleration to keep possession alive. Will greatness be conserved? No, Eric <laughs> Taylor is there and Bloodworth with the assist after the huge layout on a throw that looked like was gonna elude him initially. That's big play and a great job from the Raleigh D-line. Bloodworth laying out with two hands, curing. Raleigh will receive to start the second. Will they be down by one or two? Five seconds for Zach Norbaum. McDonald has to go to the end zone. A blading flick into traffic. It's deflected and caught! Joe Richards! with a miraculous score to close the quarter. He is always in the right place at the right time in the end zone. How does he come up with this? How does this throw work? This looks like a certain turnover. It's tipped perfectly to Richards who trails the play and he hardly reacts. Oh yeah. And really, this was not here. Otherwise, this could become lopsided. David Shields gets the block underneath on Elijah Long and then shoots it looking for Rafis. Similar spot of the field where Rafis got the Dion Youngst. Rafis wins the battle again. Reese Bergeron. Oh, goodness! Putting Fisher in the spin cycle to find A.J. Merriman for the score. Wow, wow, wow. 22 games, including tonight. Johnny Malk lets a rip. Joe Merrill, outread by Alex Davis. Merriman to Tom. Duncan Fitzgerald for Rafus. Mmm, Rafus. Throws intercepted by Yannick, who's got a chance for his third goal of the night, and he's got it. That's Yannick again. Wow, and a, the downfield striker, he's got half of Raleigh's goals. Big mistake here, Rafus, you know, not a handler. Flyers would meet up with their old friend Nate Goff as well with Chicago. A really strong player in North Carolina for several years. 
Impossible scuba denied by Critella. Incredible reset defense from Raleigh that entire point, and it finally resulted in a forced throwaway. So second throwaway from Johnny Malks. No timeouts left in the half for Raleigh, and the deep shot going up, looking for Alex Davis, and he makes the catch! Skying Joe Merrill to bring the Flyers within one. He's got more than speed, Charlie. He's got some hops, too. Another huge play from Davis. And this deep shot works out great. And look, two defenders again, but this time Davis going up and making the grab. Under 90 seconds in the half as the huck goes up for Nissen. Eric Taylor giving chase. Taylor got it first. Tons of contact, no whistle. So Taylor comes up with the big block and now a chance to tie. But now the Flyers on the doorstep of the equalizer. Basically a zone defense here from the Breeze in the end zone. And Saul finds the open man. Trevor Lynch has the goal. Breeze still with a long way to go. David Shields flicks it toward the end zone and it is tipped and this time it lands incomplete. Richardson fired up. Tomorrow night in New York, the Empire and the Hustle to determine the final championship weekend ticket. McDonald underthrows it a bit, and Connor Russell gets a piece of it. The first big. But Yannick creating contact on those arounds. Clock has continued through these whistles as Anders Jungs gets the layout block. Turnover. Laviolette looking for Mitchell. Merriman chasing. Mitchell's got it. And one. And one. Terrence Mitchell. Man, the composure, knowing he's got Merriman on his back, to go up and make that play. Richards to Merrill, back to Rowan. Richards, oh, that was a tight space. And then Wodat shoots it for Merrill to tie the game at 12. The Breeze 10 and two in the regular season. Their best record ever. McDonald catches with four. Crossfield hammer. Hanging up there, and Richardson swats it away. It's amazing to watch him walk off with the giant arm. So seven of DC's 13 scored by the J&J &J Roofing Company, as A.J. Merriman termed them. Deep shot goes up to a wide open Eric Taylor. Waiting for teammates downfield. Another low huck from Eunks. This time it connects. Fourteen all. Four minutes gone in the fourth. Laviolette crossfield hammer. Oh, what a throw! And Mitchell makes the basket catch. That's all Yannick looks over to Alan Laviolette. Just gives him a smile and a nod. What a throw from Laviolette! I mean, Quinn Bergeron peeled off and was hunting this block. And that means that. Can DC answer? It's McDonald going deep. Beautiful floaty throw from Malks. And Rowan on the doorstep. Resets for Richards into the end zone for Norbaum. Ultimate and kind of would overshadow Durs, but this kid has been unbelievable, and there's a turnover. DC fans trying to will the breeze D line to a turnover. 
Long squeezes it through. Youngst into the end zone. Gusho Hannes scores. And Raleigh leads by two with five minutes to play. And they need to be calm and cool. McDonald shoots it. Nissen not going to get there. Alex Davis. Long and Yannick just bleeding time. Low throw. Taylor makes a tough diving catch. Raleigh by three with under three to play. Oh, goodness. Miscommunication in the backfield. Huck goes up immediately. DC's got it. It's Kevin Versteeg. Versteeg, cross field oh. intercepted by Fairfax. And now the clock is DC's enemy. Yannick shoots it for Fisher. Will this be the dagger? Fisher's got it. He's in, and the Flyers lead by three with under a minute to play. They're going to put seven seconds on the clock here before the rally celebration can officially begin and they will be back here in our nation's capital next Friday. Sarcastic applause from the crowd. They inadvertently put 45 minutes on the clock, but that's not real. You don't have that much time, Breeze. That final completion will end it, and the Raleigh Flyers are going back to championship weekend for the first time in six years. 19-16, Raleigh comes from behind, and they'll be playing back in D.C. against the Chicago Union next Friday.